If you're checking voltage in a 120, 240 volt system, the procedure is identical to the 240 volt dedicated system, starting with the house breaker box and ending at the GFCI. A 120, 240 volt wiring configuration has minor differences from the GFCI to the system box. We'll cover that next. First, check to be sure the GFCI breaker is on. For a 120, 240 volt application, probe the black and red wires at GFCI loadout 1 and 2. Voltage should be 240. Then, probe the black wire and the white load neutral wire. Your meter should read 120 volts. Probing the red wire and the white load neutral wire will also show 120 volts. Probe the red load out wire and the box chassis ground lug. You should see 120 volts. Next, probe the black loadout wire and the ground lug. The voltage should also be 120. Measure the white load neutral and the ground lug. Voltage should read approximately zero. Now, let's proceed to the 120 240 volt system box. Begin the voltage check at terminal block TB1. On some systems, TB1 will be located on the circuit board. Probe the black and red wires. Your meter should read 240 volts. Probe the black and white wires. You should see 120 volts. Next, probe the black and green ground wires. On some systems, the green ground wire will be connected to a lug on the system box. The voltage should be 120. Probing the red and green wires should also show 120 volts. Now, probe the red and white wires. Your meter should read 120 volts. Probing the white neutral wire and the green ground wire will show approximately zero volts.